what you decide and then follow it. It brings a lot of changes into your career. So first I thank the organizer. They have asked me uh, that I should surely speak and participate uh, in this TEDx, Domino Tech, uh, TEDx program. That moment I was not knowing what it does Domino means. Of course, the student told me something, but today, uh, before coming here, I looked at the dictionary. Domino, though I was understanding Domino must be dealing with the dominance or Domino is also a game. But again, a very interesting thing came that what you decide and then follow it, it brings a lot of changes into your career because it applies to you. In my reference, I, I was a naughty student when I was in 12th or 13th uh, graduation. There was a lady teacher. I asked her, ma'am, how to stand first in the class? I was not a good student then. Oh, she said, never go to class unprepared. You must study each and every lecture Devote half an hour for that. So I started following it. So Domino is also one change brings up change series of changes in your life. From an average student, I slowly, slowly become a, became a university topper. I stood first in BSc honors. I stood first in MSc honors. And again for my doctorate. Of course, doctor, there is no exam. But my examiners exempted me from the oral test. It was a rare case at Punjab University, Chandigarh, that a candidate is exempted from the oral test. The examiner wrote, the thesis is written so simple, in so simple manner, but there is nothing to ask. So I will call it as a domino aspect, a domino effect, but you are discussing it. One change. If my naughty boy question to a teacher changed his entire life. Today, if I am standing before you, people say Dr. Khosla is a successful person. And I attribute that to my domino effect where I decided that I must do whatever is important. I should not neglect my responsibilities. I was an average student. As uh, destiny would have it, in the school, when my parents admitted me in the school, it, I started with Urdu. But when I was in the third class, I was born, I was a partition boy. And when I, in 47, I was in third standard, the country was partitioned. And Urdu was all of a sudden changed by Hindi. So nobody taught us the alphabets of Hindi. We had to pick up third class, third standard, so I didn't know Hindi. Then again, it happened with English. Because in the school where I was studying, English was to be introduced from sixth standard. But then my parents shifted me to another school, higher school, better school. And there it was started in the fifth standard. Obviously, throughout my life, I have been struggling with English. But I didn't yield. I could make my way out. Even today, when I write something, I give it to some someone to read for me. Well, these days, I am very fond of writing my mamayars. I have written 61 mamayars on my life, or on the, my interests, or on the historical aspects. Uh, my uh, last uh, mamayar was, uh, the, the current Mamar which I am planning is on the Bhakti moment. That I just wanted to see because I was reading a Renaissance. They say there was a Renaissance age for the Europeans and they brought a lot of science then. That was 16th, 17th, or 18th century. I was wondering what we were doing as Indians. Then I found the same time when the Einstein or others were finding their hypothesis on science. We were involved in Bhakti movement. Science, that means from darkness, you enter into the brightness. 
so about me and as a student as a then i became a teacher at punjab university chandigarh and finally uh, did my uh, from from process of i would say uh, my life uh, you are here many people say dr kosla has been able to establish a university my only advice to the student is whatever you do plan then stick to it no initially it is going to trouble you but you will become so habitual that results will be coming of its own success is in your hands you can make or mar your career you can concentrate you can attain anything by planning concentration commitment dedication persuasion everything is achievable this is what i have learned in my life so a boy who belongs to a poor family not poor every family every student if people today call him a bright student there must be something that i have to share with you that thing is your domino effect that think what do you want to do my teacher told me then i had been continuing continuously following that how this university came i was a lecturer in botany at punjab university chandigarh i applied for the post doc in botany then the committee asked me we don't have any position in botany but we like your work can we offer you in forest science so obviously as a teacher and an opportunity I, i i like anyone else i said yes why not so i for my career change from botanist i became a forest scientist that provided me an opportunity to rise in career and to be known as a important forest scientist because the forest science was in the budding stage so opportunities also come if you are clear in your mind what you have to do and i was at one stage known as important forest scientist of the country and this is how i came in himachal because uh, after my oxford training post doc i came to himachal uh, two reasons one my wife was teaching here and secondly i got the promotion so 1975 i shifted to the to the state as a associate professor in then hp university shimla at solon campus now it is a separate university university of horticulture and forestry that was my career building stage and then i never looked back so now coming to uh, my career culminated as vice chancellor of agriculture university i was scientific advisor of the university of the himachal pradesh also then i was 64 years of age i never thought rest is required that people must retire yes you can retire from the government job you can retire something or other but at the age of 64 when two or three months were left uh, in my uh, retirement from the ten- tenurial post of a scientific advisor to the state government i was thinking what i have to do it was a good opportunity that from shimla to chandigarh i was moving in a, uh, a vehicle and we were stuck up near the st louis schools uh, in front of a building uh, it was written there a building on sale or rent and uh, 45000 square foot area so my wife said why you are always talking that you want to do i had i have because i have stayed in solon for long about Uh, two and a half decades, so I built my own house. Uh, leave Shimla. Uh, let us take this building on higher and start something like a college or something higher education. This clicked. Next day, by, from coming back from Chandigarh, we Vishal and others there. It was uh, his parents. When we discussed with them, they offered, "Why not? We can also join hands." So this how my journey toward higher education started. so i never looked back we had seen difficult times because when we started 
I was continuing at Shimla. My two senior colleagues from Punjab University, Chandigarh, late Professor S. V. Vaij, and my another colleague from Horticulture Forestry University, Dr. Tawadi. They, I asked them to uh, uh, organize this institution. And while I like to stay in Shimla because of the uh, affiliations and other formalities, by staying in Shimla, near to the sector, secretaries and other things, the process would be easily completed. In the process, they got uh, affiliation from the university in Uttar Pradesh, the Fezabad Agriculture Universities. But unfortunately, they were not knowing one, knowing one rule, nor the university, that they cannot affiliate the colleges outside the state. When the governor changed, there they withdrew the affiliation. So we were in trouble. We faced the trouble. But with conviction, with dedication, with hard work, we, and Vishal is also there, and we could meet that hard time. In hard times, so the analysis is, Face, face things in front. Do not be disturbed. There is no person in this world who has not seen the bad days. That those are your tests. If you pass there, you will succeed. I can tell you, we succeeded. Even the state government, the chief minister called a meeting where I was present along with the secretary of education and also one or more, two persons. The secretary wanted to harm the people, but the chief minister wanted to help us because the older people can understand. I told him one thing. He told, asked me, tell me truly what has, what has happened. I told him, yes, I was not knowing it. Oh, it was over-reliance on something. I learned a lesson in your life. Don't take hasty steps. Every issue that you face, always think, why I have failed? Ultimately, the answer will be that you have not thought of pros and cons of the situation. Think over it. What are you going to do? What are you going to achieve? What is going to be your future? Then the problems will not come. From there, from that, of course, that passed away. The institution was established. SELV is there. It's still continuing as an affiliated college of the HB University. The proposal of establishing private university, the era of private education has started. So obviously we also submitted our application and we were awarded separate university, uh, University of Biotechnology and uh, Management Sciences was awarded way back in 2009. So at that stage, I thought, what should I do? How can I make this university an outstanding university? I, I, I never wanted to, just for any other purpose to establish the university. My mission was, why? Why Indian universities are not figuring among the 200 world international universities? Can, in, can we take Shunli University to that level after 10 or 12 years? Even if you look at our old papers, we are written that Shunli University, university will be among 200 global universities by 2022. I was not knowing that this is very difficult. I was knowing, not knowing that at that day that none of the Indian universities among first 200. The people used to laugh at me. Yeah, look at this gentleman and he wants to be, he has nothing with him. And he wants to be among the 200 global universities. B, I didn't bother. <laughs> and in a way, the total management which was involved in this pursuit also, I was able to convince them, give me time, I will be able to do it. So, I add, then I thought, how can we achieve it? I looked at the I, I, idea came to me, it is only ranking when you have a football team. You go and play matches with others. One wins, other loses. Same thing is in the university system, there is a ranking. Every year, international organizations are ranking you. Now, the government of India has also introduced the ranking system, which they call as the National Institutional Ranking Framework. There are two common systems I had known. One, QS, that gives a lot of emphasis on reputation. Thinking that our is a new university, there will not be any reputation. Who will know us? 
A reputation, how they sell the reputation? They write to the people. How many people vote for you? On the basis of that, this gives you the score. And the other system was research. They are given and block 30 marks to citational research data. Many such a look, gentleman, Prem Kumar, here is a piece which you can do it. Because I also came to know that there are world universities which are getting 30 out of 30 marks in citation and such data. It came to me, if Oxford can obtain 30 out of 30, why I am saying 30? 200 can be achieved by getting 50 marks. Out of 70, if you get 20 plus 30, it is a total of 50. So that was my calculation. And very difficult. They say if you have to achieve something, go on dreaming. And don't stop dreaming. Then go on planning. Go on developing strategy. Go on sorting out the issues. Success will definitely come to your hands one day. So that thought process, research was taken as a agenda of the Shulli University. Only with one goal. In citational data, 30 out of 30 marks. Till 9, I'm talking about 2010 and 11. Now come to 2020, 2021. We applied for that. Times higher education. We did not go to the other system. With thinking that we should be able to get 29 or 30 marks. They wrote us, because you are not eligible to compete. You should require 1,000 papers in five years. So, but they told us in citational data, you are getting 29.4 marks out of 30. Then in other words, if another 16 or 17 more marks out of the remaining 70, you can even be a topper in the country. Next year we competed with that background. We, in those time times, made a news item that a debutant university, six debutant universities for India, figured among 75 Indian universities listed in the Times Higher Education and one university named Shulli University jumped to straight second position after Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Thank you very much.